Hey, 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 this is the Covenanter. This is a British Tier 5 medium tank, and the map is Minsk. So basically what I'm going to do is, really near the start of the game, I'm going to go along these bushes all the way up until this corner. So I'm going to end up uh, in front of this building off here in the distance. See that building in the distance? I'm going to be right in front of it, spot the enemy team, and it's going to end up being the right strategy because you can see all of my allies heading into the town. They're going to quickly win in the town. And I'm going to be in a great position to help them advance. I'm going to get like 2,600 spot damage. It's really good. Uh, the map is Minsk, which as you know is the home of the World of Tanks developers. That's actually their building right over there. You can see their offices. That's the gym where they go exercise. So one of the things that I do is I knock this tree down. Sometimes I don't do it on the first try. But it is going to help you... Uh, when you want to snipe across over there, you're going to have a little bit of a, uh, a additional cover. There are trees on the other side. You see the trees that I'm pointing at with the mouse over there. And uh, this one over here, you can knock those down and snipe back and forth. Uh, while I got nothing to do, I'm knocking a bunch of trees down where I might do some spotting later. But that's really not going to happen because, like I said, I'm going to, you know, I'm not seeing any enemy tanks. And I'm like, you just go across through the middle. Look at that loser. I'm a German tank. I didn't even play. So I got 103 on that VK. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, one thing about this vehicle, it's not very accurate and it's not very penetrate. And that's perfect English. So it's going to look like the enemy is going to outnumber us on the west side. But I don't think they're going to get anywhere. Look at it. It's already 4-1. to 4-1. to one. And nobody's firing at me. So when you advance over here, there's a couple different strategies you want to use. One of them is to head towards this little hill. And the reason why is because you got trees you can knock down. You can hide behind that hill. You notice that there's no other place to hide behind going all the way across. So that's one of the places you hide behind. The other one is you see this row of bushes. You just drive through all of those bushes. Usually you can make it all the way to the front. And you're going to see right now an example of that. Coming into... Coming into... This is actually one of my favorite tanks. I really enjoyed it uh, seven years ago when I first started playing. And when you do this, keep in mind, you've got all these structures over here, like this little wall that you can hide behind if you get spotted. And I will get spotted. But there's so many hiding places. Look at all that. Yeah, here's an example. Yep, bye-bye, H20. What do you think that was? Love run? Ready to fire. I don't see the target. So you notice that Max took out that SU-122A. That Dickermax, I don't know what it is. He's got, like, some super gun or something like that. He's going to get, like, 5,000 damage in this game. So as you can see, my team did lose on the west, but on the east, my team is dominating. And I've only got 600 spot damage reported in game so far, but we got a long way to go. And it's very easy for me to advance because of all these hills over here and my super intelligence. Look at that 132 spot damage right there. What a cheater. He's got all these hills to hide behind. All they got to do is spot. And you really don't have to spot every second. You could spot every six seconds. You could take it a little bit easy. I do tend to spot a little bit too often. See, the SU uh, was taken out of the game by the KV-1S. Got a vehicle over there. How pretty he is. Those are popular vehicles, but... They're not so good when the ammo hits them. Yep, he's out of the game.
Oh, that's too bad. Score is 11-4. My team is going to cap. So they're going to sit there on that cap. The game is basically over. It is 13-4. to four. Uh, I believe I got 2,600 spot damage. I could have sworn they had a feature where you could switch. Oh. They had a feature where... um could view other tanks, but it doesn't seem to be in the replays anymore. So we're going to watch fast forward. See how amazing it is. Time to roll out. Time to roll out. So obviously try to knock a bunch of trees down. Knock that tree down. Or if you play on the other side, you've got more options. Shoot at the Wargaming building. You come across, decide where you're going to head, go for these bushes over here, drive all the way through. Now you have to decide here, are you going to spot or are you going to snipe? I made the decision, based on the fact that we've got this nice protective hill, they tend to only have SPGs, there could be a tank destroyer, I decided uh, to take some shots. Try to stay low, just go up to spot and then survive the game. And then we are going to cap. And that's it. And if you want to see the mini-map, you want to watch the mini-map, see what happened, you're free to rewind the video and watch the mini-map. Okay, so let's look at the deets. You can see that uh, the Dicker Max did come out on top uh, for damage. And uh, I got number two for EXP, which is at 720. I got 2518 spot damage. Without using any personal reserves, I got 5,940. There must have been some sort of an event. See how it says event crew EXP? It must have been some sort of an event for uh, the weekend, like a weekend multiplier. I did profit at 28,000. And in terms of distribution, it was a split tier 5 and 6 game. Uh, a lot of heavy tanks and medium tanks. Although it's reasonably evenly distributed, distributed as they say in the real world. And there you have it. Okay, that's the game. If you've got any questions or comments, please post below. Booty pie.